Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. I'm Emmy Eaton, and today I'm chatting with 12 year old Jack Dowdell and his mom, Kimberly. Jack has Down syndrome, and this year he has had to adjust having his older brother, Luke, being away at college. In November, his brother surprised him and came home to visit on the weekend. His family caught Jack's reaction on video, which was the beginning of a viral sensation. Since then, many other heartwarming videos have followed and have been viewed by millions. His prom video reached over 15 million views. Kimberly shares her on her Instagram page the good news that Down syndrome brings into our life. Kimberly and Jack, thank you so much for talking with me. Thanks for having us here, Emmy. We're excited to talk to you. I'm excited to be here with you. Both of you. Thanks. Okay, Kimberly, what gave you the idea to share about Jack with the world online? So you know how sometimes in life we have experiences that maybe make us a little bit nervous or afraid, and sometimes we get kind of scared. Well, when Jack was born, I had never met anyone who had Down syndrome before. And so when he was born and I found out he had Down syndrome, I was a little bit nervous and afraid at first of what his life was going to be like and what type of experiences we were going to have in the future. And I remember telling my husband and close friends, if only I could have a glimpse of what Jack's life would look like in the future, then everything will be okay. And I won't be afraid anymore. And one day I found this video on YouTube of a young man with Down syndrome who was a senior in high school. And for his senior project, he created a video of his life and what his daily routine was. And he rode his bike to the YMCA all by himself to swim laps. He made himself his own breakfast, all of these things. And he was really independent and it was so cool to watch. And as I was watching it, I thought, this is the glimpse. This is the glimpse that I needed to know that everything's going to be okay. And so now as we get to share these videos of Jack and his life, we get to give other people that glimpse that I was looking for. And people watch Jack's videos and they say, this is so awesome. I just had a baby born with Down syndrome and watching your videos gives me the hope and excitement that I needed to see for my own child's future. Yeah. Um, Jack, what is your favorite junk food? Uh, Jack's favorite is the hot dogs. He, he said he loves hot dogs, but he doesn't like just any hot dog. What's your favorite kind? He likes Hebrew National. <laughs> he will only, he's a hot dog snob. He only likes Hebrew National hot dogs. <laughs> What's your favorite treat? <laughs> Jack gets a Slurpee almost every day. That This is his favorite junk food. He loves Slurpees. Do you like Slurpees, what Emmy? You, yeah, what flavor? Diet Coke. What is that? She the Coke doctors. flavor. He said Diet Coke, but it's it's the Coke flavor. He, he likes Diet Coke too. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. I like the blue. You like the I blue like one, the blue raspberry? That's I a good one. Like yeah. Yeah. Um, Kimberly, I bet you get messages from people all around who have been surprised, inspired by Jack's story. Can you share about one of those that you really liked or touched you a lot? Like, yeah. touched your heart? <laughs> yes. So we have received lots of really positive messages and people always come to us and say, this was so heartwarming. I love to watch Jack first thing in the morning. I was having a bad day and watching Jack turn my day around. But I found, I pulled up one of the messages that we got that I really like loved. And so I'm going to read it to you really quick. So this woman says, dearest Kimberly and family, Sending you love and strength from Sydney, Australia. Can you believe we have someone following us from Sydney, Australia? She said, I have a nine, almost 10 year old. And last year, a little girl with Down syndrome started kindergarten. And when my son met her, he couldn't stop talking about how sweet she is and how happy her smile makes him. I've had a lot of questions about Down syndrome and it's hard for me to explain it. However, at his school, they had a fun day wearing cool, fun and happy socks. My son thinks Jack is amazing. 
He said he loves his cheeky yeah. smiles and his sass. You and Jack make our day. My son doesn't have Down syndrome. He's an empathetic little man. He thinks that Jack is cool and an inspiration to him to never give up as you are to me. Thank you for sharing your story and know that you have impacted someone on the other end of the world. That's and I thought that was so cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Jack, what do you like to do after school? I'm a school dog, soccer and baseball. He likes to play soccer and basketball. Me so too. Yeah. yeah. Her too. She loves basketball. I'm the awesome dog. Right away. If you're ever out this way, we live in Utah. You'll have to come hang out and play basketball with Jack. We're not we're not too far from Utah. So. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe too far. next time we're there, we can come play basketball together. That would be way fun. Yeah, I, that, Jack. <laughs> Kimberly, sometimes yeah. people can be scared to talk to someone who is different than them. What advice do you have to help someone who is nervous? Well, Emmy, <laughs> to be honest, I was a little bit nervous to talk to you today. <laughs> I think we all have experiences in life, no matter what our walk of life is. We have new experiences that make us nervous sometimes. I think if you're meeting someone that's different than you, I think the most important thing is to find something that you share that's similar. So for instance, Jack likes to play basketball and you like to play basketball. Jack likes to drink Slurpees. Yeah. You like to drink Slurpees. Some of the people in our neighborhood, they know that Jack loves to drink Slurpees and he likes to play basketball. And so they'll drop by the house and they'll say, hey, Jack, you want to go play basketball? And they'll take him out in the neighborhood and play basketball with him or they'll pick him up and they'll go get a Slurpee together because they found that they have those similarities that they both enjoy. <laughs> and I think that's the important thing. <laughs> Jack, what is your favorite movie? I'm being on Gotta Draw Leaders and I got the Teddy Bishop Miller and Best Movie and uh, this is Dali, Amy Becker. And he, he's telling you that he loves the show Good Like Charlie. Have you ever watched that TV show? I watched it too. <laughs> and he kind of has a crush on Bridget Medler. No, so, no, Bridget Medler. And I forgot. I, I, so, Emmy, we know that you know some famous people. If you happen to interview Bridget Medler, Hmm. You should hook us up so Jack could meet her. He uh, would but, He would be in heaven. Maybe if I ever end up meeting her, I can tell her to come to your house or something. I don't know. Yeah. Can you imagine if that happened? You have to video that. We would have to video that. That would be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. It'd be like a dream come true. Oh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Kimberly, what has been your most watched or most shared post on social media? So we have a video that we took in April of Jack going to prom with his brothers. Oh, what? So it was what happened was his brothers left for prom and they were all dressed up and Jack saw them leave. And all of a sudden he ran upstairs. And before I knew it, he was changing into a suit too, because he knew that we were going to meet up with them to go take pictures and he wanted to be dressed up in a suit to go to prom with them. And so we have a video of him going to prom and taking pictures. And that video has almost 16 million views. I think it's at 15.8 right now. So that's our most viewed video. But it's a really cute and fun video. You should go watch it. I, I was just going to say we will have to go watch it. After yeah. The interview. yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Um, I have one. I have two bonus questions. Okay. The first one's for you, Kimberly. Okay. okay, so most of your shirts and other clothes say good news. Why is it important on to focus on sharing good news? Okay, Jack's actually wearing our good news shirt. You want to stand up so she can see it? Yeah. So this is, a, this is Jack's face, and then it says good news. Okay, you can sit down. So we created this shirt because, first of all, Jack has a lot of catchphrases, but one of the catchphrases that he says is, is says he will start out a sentence by saying, mom, good news. And then he'll tell me something that he feels is good news. And so we thought it went really well with the whole aspect of Down syndrome because Jack finds a lot of things in life that are good news, but also getting the, the diagnosis of a Down syndrome diagnosis is good news. And we want people to feel happy and excited about it 
rather than be afraid or worried or sad. And so we've been selling these good news shirts so that other people can share the good news that Jack and other people like him bring into our lives. We're going to have to go buy one. We should just send you one. We'll send you one for free, Emmy. We'll send you Thank a good news shirt. You. <laughs> um, Jack, what's your favorite color? I'm a kind of blue and it's just that sort of cold. You like blue? Is blue yeah. your favorite color? Yeah. He said blue. Well, we have some blue seven question search, so maybe we can send you one of those. Oh, we would love that. I'll have dad email you guys about that. Okay. And we'll have to get an address to send you a shirt. We'll send yeah. you one. Thank you so much for talking with me today. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for having us, Emmy. We just love watching you in your interviews. You're doing a great job. What are what are your socials in case the viewers want to come check you guys out? Oh, okay. So our Instagram is at the Kimberly Dowdell. And my TikTok is Kimberly dot Dowdell. Okay. Well, That's everyone, it. you should go check it out. Thank you. Bye. Thank See you. you guys. Bye. Bye. I can't have a lot of hugs. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new seven questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.